Add elbow fitting two wing cylinders. Remove rear cab panel. Install Ethernet switch on rear of cab. Followed by unwrapping and plugging in Ethernet harness into the associated cavities. Labels on the harness associate with the cavity numbers on the Ethernet switch. Route the power harness from the bulkhead bracket to behind the reservoir bracket secured by push-in retainers. Add fuse to new harness location. On other end of the power harness, route middle and new skid harness where the existing skid harness was, to the rear of the machine. Remove the left connector nut and install bulkhead bracket to connector. Reinstall nut to connector. Attach new power and chassis harness to the bracket. Install new height sensor bracket, transferring old boom track sensor. Perform same procedure to the left and right wing sensor brackets. Remember to measure the locations. Install IMU sensor to the top of both the left and right sensor brackets. Add IMUs to the left and right breakaway. Flip breakaway height sensor 180 degrees and plug in harness. Reroute hydraulic hoses in boom window R and L8. Add center hydraulic hose relocating brackets. Mount left side VPU assembly by hooking on center frame. Assembly is located by attaching to existing center frame bracket. Follow the same steps for the right VPU assembly. Window over hydraulic hose bracket locates the assembly. Install fuse center and bracket. Add additional bulkhead brackets to existing left and right location. Route center frame harness from the left VPUs down the harness hoop, then up the back side through the center harness channel. Mirror the same routing locations to the right VPU assemblies. Route the rest of the harness on top of the lower lift arm. Connect two Ethernet wiring harnesses from the switch to the VPU on the left and right side. Route Ethernet harness from the right switch to the rear cab switch. Reinstall rear cab panel. Install camera bracket 20 with the camera behind the grease line. Repeat for camera 17 on the left side. Bolt camera bracket 18 and 19 to the center frame with camera. Follow the graphic for routing camera harnesses to the cameras. Remove the breakaway fold guards. Add two spacers behind the outermost guard. The inner two guards only need one spacer. Add one spacer behind the middle frame fold guard. Install new fold stop and guard. Be sure to mark the location of the old bracket before removing. Remove all left boom cradle guards. Install spacer behind both upright guards. Replace both lower pads with one supplied in the kit.
Install left and right mid-wing VPU assemblies with the controller facing backwards. Route harnesses from VPUs along existing harness to the center frame. Attach opposite end of harness to the IMU located below and continue to the breakaway. Remove hose fold support. Add camera and bracket in place of support. Install inner wing cameras and brackets. Make sure to follow the installation manual for measurements. Remove roller nuts to install camera bracket. Pre-mount the innermost camera bracket. Depending on optionality, a hole may need to be marked and drilled. Install after drilling. Remove inner mirror bolts and add L bracket. Remove fold stop bracket and install camera mount. Place fold stop over camera bracket and tighten. Install three outer wing cameras and brackets. Follow the installation manual as measurements vary. Install the breakaway camera assembly on the breakaway frame. Align using measurements in the manual. Mark and drill holes on both sides of the breakaway frame. Check breakaway force following install. Install product and harness brackets on left and right frame. Route and tie up product hoses at hinge sections. Route camera harness from center VPU and under wing camera brackets. Route the wing VPU camera harness the same way heading towards the breakaway. To complete, ensure no harness or hoses lay in front of cameras. Then update software and calibrate systems. <laughs> 